What is up guys, Speed here, and today I'm going to be playing a live match of Alchemist. It's been a long time since I've done a live match, but as you can see, the enemy team, I'm not going to say they have a ton of Alk counters, but Troll, I think, could be a hard matchup for Alk, and I do expect my lane to be somewhat difficult. The reason why I want to pick Alk today is primarily to teach you guys, you know, how to sustain the lane with a hero that can't do much, right? And of course, you guys know the next announcement. I do just want to give you guys a heads up on a couple things. I will be doing a mid-guide. Not going to tell you which hero it is yet, but go check it out. I recommend you sign up to the Game League website so you can get access to that guide when it does come out. And for everyone who is subscribed, keep your eyes out for a mid guide. I've been doing a couple of support things lately. A lot of, actually, a lot of support video. I've done a Wind Ranger support, Oracle, uh, two videos just on laning, like the first 10 minutes. And I think you're going to enjoy it a ton if you go click the link down below right now and go check it out. So number one, I'm going to be starting out with this Tango Salve build. Right, just just playing it safe. Uh, this is, in my opinion, the most basic and well-rounded build for safe laners. Just three branches and then in regen. Looking at my lane, <laughs> all right, we got a buckler ogre magi. I mean, my man's tanking up. Hey, for me, alchemist with all that extra armor, I I'm down. I do think you should have tangos. I actually might share him one. That could be a good idea. I'll share him one just because I think tangos are important. Uh, but nonetheless, looking at my matchup, it's probably gonna be. Enigma, it's actually tough because like these three heroes could be anything, you know? I guess the, the Willow's probably not mid, but Quap could be mid, Lena could be mid. I guess we'll look around. Okay, so it looks like the Quap's probably mid. So I, I think what I'm leaning against is Enigma, Lena. Very difficult. I'm going to lose a lot of creeps. The Lena's going to try to hit me a bunch. However, I think Ogre might be able to body the Lena out of lane. Hopefully. Okay, I think Ogre's going for that one, which I can respect. I am Alk, so getting all landing for two is not too bad. Hopefully they can get the bottom one as well, so... Lena's here, might have to dodge her stun. Oh my god, I was standing so far away from it. Man, I messed up so bad there. I'll hit her on the way out though. So once again, guys, just keep this in mind. So like, I think Enigma is not here, right? I think Enigma is likely... I'm gonna try to body block her a bit. Uh, but I didn't think Enigma was here because he's probably sacking the creep or getting ready to sack the creep. Enigma is also really weak early on. Uh, and therefore, I think that's a, a good play for me to try to body out the Lena there. And yeah, that's huge because now the Lena's gonna have to pop a self and now the Ogre Magi can just run her out or well She's not popping herself, but now the Ogre Magi can just kind of run at her, right? He's he's really dang strong right now And I'm gonna be able to get the first early waves as free farm So here I'm gonna try to deny this right away. Just keep the lane back as far as possible. Also Obviously, I'm gonna focus on CS might be able to get the deny here. I'm gonna fake it. So they hit it. Maybe No, all right, Lena's gonna secure it fair 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 play so yeah, I mean, I like what my ogre's doing. He's going aggressive. Uh, got my range creep denied, as as per usual. Now here, I might try to hit the Eidolons if he makes them overextend. It's a good thing to do against Enigma and heroes like Prophet, where if I don't have to go for a CS... Body pretty hard here. But if, if I don't have to go for a CS, I can just focus on, on hitting the Eidolons like I can maybe here. Alright, whatever. At least I'm getting the XP. Also, I'm going to always have a Tango going. Oh my gosh, I keep missing these free Eidolon CS. And I'm going to focus on getting denies in between, right? A lot of players, they, 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 I know there's so much going on right now, but my main focus is last hit and denies, and then Eidolons if either of those aren't ready, right? So last hit, deny, if there's none of that, I can go for Eidolons. That's basically all I'm thinking about right now. Here I might go for a side pull. It's a large wave under the tower. I'm going to ship out an early boots just so I can uh, evade right clicks, right? Boots can help you stay alive against right clicks. Now here, I do kind of want this XP, but I want to get the pull. I think that's more important. Looks like Ogre sapping the XP, so at least someone's going to get it. Go for the pull here. And this will help me get my lane back a little bit. Do gonna, I'm going to have to let it hit me right here. Yep, let it hit me. And Lena is going to contest the pull, but that's okay, because still the wave is going to come back as a result. Not um, not fully back, but pretty far back, right? Which is still dang solid. Might be able to get this range creep tonight here. Nah, Lena's securing it. Yeah, so as you can see, people know what they're doing um, here. They're, they're going to use their spells. I should have I should have aggroed that creep. Alright, whatever. I got it anyway, but... Should aggro that creep for sure. Here I'm considering using my acid. I'm gonna hit this just to bait the Lena a bit. Uh, now I'm gonna I'm gonna acid this wave. You see how I put the acid on the left side? That's pretty important as well. Oh, I didn't get that CS. I put the acid on the left side just to body out the Lena a bit, so that it's harder for her to hit me. All right, that's a lot of creeps. Maybe he'll go for stun. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the side on here. No, okay, they were just about dead. I might need to buy another set of tangos. I think I'm gonna go the soul ring build, phase soul ring maybe. Gonna walk into trees here, just so the Lena can't chase me. Okay, nice. Good pull by Ogre. If this is like a ranked game and I'm not recording, what I'd be doing consistently... Oh, I should have been in range for that. I'd be consistently telling my Ogre just to look for pulls. Get a creep aggro here. Try to get the lane back. Might need to aggro again. Yeah, this is tough. Yeah, he's gonna get that one. Gonna help out my Ogre here. Now that I have boots, I can afford... Like, when you get this movement speed, I can afford to look to... 
you know, get a hit in and then back off. If you don't have boots and you do that, you're going to get contested real hard. So he did get the range creep with that side pull. I'll keep that in mind. I'll try to make sure I'm at least an XP range. Going to take the acid at level 2. Yeah, range creep definitely going to get denied here, likely. Likely. Going to pull this back. Nice. See the creep aggro coming in big handy there. Also lets him get that creep. I'll get this one too. And that's power creep aggro. Didn't get contested for any of those creeps. Now, unfortunately, I did lose my range creep, but it's to be expected. The lane's pretty hard. We'll get an Eidolon last hit here. Nice. Eidolons are worth a ton. He's actually giving me three of them. That's a mistake. I can't really help him here. I'm too low. I'm just going to pull creep aggro and pop a self, I think. All right, I'll pop a self. Lena's backing off. Good. Um, yeah, he can look for a side pull here. It's tough. I'm gonna I'm gonna acid this just to prevent the Lena from doing too much, and then I'm gonna pull aggro just so I don't have to step up. To, oh, it didn't go off. <sighs> All right, I'll still get the last hits. Might be able to get the side along too. Yep, nice, easy. All right, things really shaped up there. Things went well there. I do want ogre to pull. Can you try to pull? Never mind, never mind. Let's get bounties. I don't know what the sending was doing, but I'm gonna get the XP for the idol on. And I think he's going to be going for... Okay, so he's going for this rune. I can actually try to help him out here a bit. Just because of how low they are. Alright, you think I don't got my own puddle? I'm going to run this Lena down. She's about to get clicked. I should have probably chased the other guy. How fast is Lena? Alright, when her Fury Souls run out, she's dead. Got to dodge the stun. Oh no, she got the... Oh no, I'm dead. Woo! Got the kill. So my courier out. Alright, that... <laughs> Probably shouldn't have chased that far. I'll be honest. Probably shouldn't have chased that far. Yeah, but the lane's going okay, right? Because this can be a really hard lane for me. I have 23 CS, which is not insane. But, like, considering it's Lina, Enigma, and my Ogre has no regen, I'm not too upset, you know? I'm not too upset. I'm gonna put down Acid here. Just secure the wave, you know? Maybe I shouldn't have, actually. Just so I didn't, um... So I don't shove it into their tower. But I'll at least be able to get all these CS. Should be, at least, if I don't miss. And he just fed me Eidolons for some reason. Easy. Base boots now too. Then I'll go straight into the radiance. So at this point, I'm just gonna eat a tango, soul ring, pull creep aggro. The reason why I want to pull creep aggro here is just so they have to. If they want to hit me, they have to stand an acid, right? That's what creep aggro does for Alk here. Even if you don't have a spell like acid, what creep aggro does is it makes people hit you in a creep wave, or at least it makes them overextend. So this lane is walking up really hard. Don't want to chase too hard, right? I'll just get this Eidolons instead. That's huge. Yeah, I need to back up. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to wait to. Uh... Oh, I might be able to get a stack off here. This is pretty huge if I can get this. I have the phase boots so I can juke the stun. This doesn't feel too good though. Can Ogre walk over? Why is he so... Does he just have no mana? Oh boy. Might be able to get the Enigma kill before going down. Nice, got it. Not too bad. I shouldn't have overextended that far. Looks like we'll get some return kills for it though. Probably should have used his Arcane Rune. Or using his spells but you know we got some return kills gonna keep pushing this lane uh, i'll just i'll just static it here at some point though soon i'm gonna start jungling like the lane's going fine now i'm getting a lot of eidolons my net worth is okay uh, but it's getting to the point where enigma is gonna have black hole quap is level seven so she could rotate on me and i don't want to be in the lane when quap can rotate wow okay my puck solo killed him i give a nice little well played pushing this range creep next wave i'm gonna acid spray and just shove out looks like we're brawling down here man looks like a brawl i'm gonna put this ward quickly just so i can see what's happening I'm actually going to hit this Eidolon. Give me that. Yoink. I'm level 6 now. I can go pretty aggressive. What is that? Rusty Shovel. That's your cute. Free Eidolons. Looks like my puck might get the... Oh no, he missed. Alright, at this point... I can't really dive this. I'll just pull the wave back and start flash farming. So now my goal here... Now that I have this really nice bloodlust and such, it's just push the lane in, and then jungle. So, yeah, Quap's here. I need to get out. If she daggers me, I can ulti it off. My ulti purges. I actually might be able to turn here when if Jakira respawns. Now, I'm going to cut this tree. I don't want to be too scared of the Quap, so I'm going to cut this tree in acid here. Hopefully, be able to farm the camp. Just for a little bit of efficiency. Nice arcane ring. It's, not, it's a good item. Gives me some armor. And some mana. You know, Al can have mana issues too. I don't know if Quap used ulti. Uh... Once again, in a ranked game, like, I know I keep saying that, but I'm recording, so I'm not going to talk as much to my teammates. But in a ranked game, I would ask, like, hey, did Quap use ulti? Just so I know, like, can she kill me or can she not? Like, do I need to rage now or can I rage later on? Guy does not make stacks. GG. All right, I'm just going to pop my ulti. Just going to play it safe. Yeah, so there's the Quap. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut through here. I would say things are going okay. Uh, if there's anything I would fix about this game is I'd probably jungle a little bit earlier next time. 
Would definitely have considered jungling earlier. Oh wow, we actually got a small camp stack. I don't know how. I'm gonna pull this bird into the acid here just to make it a little bit easier to kill. Fortunately, it didn't die right away. But the acid's huge. It's gonna let me push out this lane really easily. And now I'll, I'll start to full-time jungle here. Oh my gosh, those items! Uh, we'll send that back. Iron Talon for the win. Iron Talon is so broken, it's ridiculous. This item is honestly insane. Because uh, now, I can simply acid and then hit the big creep. On top of that, I'll pop my soul ring here. I'll pop it a little bit early. And then pop my ulti, just so I can farm this a little bit faster. Not gonna hit the Ancient to, to finish it off. Just gonna let the Acid do it for efficiency purposes. Could've went for a stack, maybe. That's alright. I should've told my Puck to rotate. I, I should've told the Puck to to go bottom there. I, I definitely should've. The reason why I should've took... Oh, man. I guess I'm gonna have to play Last Hit Simulator against Lina. Do you have Coil? No. I should've used my... I'm getting all the jungle items. And this is why it's good to jungle early on, too. As Elk, you know, you can really get a... You can get a lot of items for your team. It's super good. So here, I actually want to hit the small creep first, right away, so it dies. This is important as Elk against Troll Camps, just so they spawn the little ones, which you can then kill. Now here, I'm going to go for a stack. Uh, maybe I'll defend the mid tower. I was considering stacking the small camp, which I think I can get off. Going to send the courier to the secret shop. I think this is... I think it's alive, so... No, it's not. Ugh, all right, whatever. I think I should have stayed, uh, I think I should have went mid. Now that I'm looking back at it. Puck, can you go, like, bottom or somewhere and let me farm mid? Alright, so I'm telling the Puck to let me farm mid. I know it's tough for him, like, he probably doesn't want to do that, but it's gonna help me a ton if he lets me farm it. Just because you can see the Quap is rotating top here, so whenever I'm farming, I'm looking at the minimap. So I see the Quap top, and I get my Relic off Courier, and now, because the Puck isn't here, not only can he fight top to create space for me, but I also get the mid wave, which is huge. And if I really want to be efficient, I can even do this. After the creep wave dies, I can drag it over to here if my courier doesn't kill itself. This is greedy. Um, the only reason why I can do this is because I see them all fighting top. Otherwise, obviously, I couldn't make this play, so you just have to have good map awareness to do this. Once again, I should be using my talent. I'm just forgetting. Noob speed in the comments. Speed is noob. And yeah, that's that's a really good way to be efficient. So I actually pulled the next wave, but I don't want to overextend too far. No reason. Might go back bottom here. So like, once again, I'm checking the minimap to see what I can get. I'm gonna pull this out. I actually will re remember to use my talent this time. That's the that's the better way to use acid. I should have been doing that the whole time. Definitely a mistake on my part not to be doing it the whole time. I'm not gonna bother hitting this. I have no talent, no acid. So I'll just run back to the wave for now. Might look to stack this small camp on the way back. Yeah, that will be efficient for me. So I'm gonna push in this wave with right clicks. Save the acid uh, for the small camp stack. Quickly, quickly. Might even be able to get a double stack. There is another wave coming in too. Got my radiance. I think I might go Manta this game. It's kind of weird, but... I'm gonna go Manta. I can purge it a lot of the stuff. Oh, whoops, I'm not paying enough attention. I set that out. And maybe if I do this correctly, I can get this stack too. Nope, I blocked it with the other camp. All right, <laughs> I'll just use the acid to finish this off. I think I'm gonna take attack speed this game. I probably should have taken a point in bottle. All right, I might be able to get these creeps. Ugh. All right, I only got one. Now we got the Radiance. I might be getting ganked, so I don't see them, any of them on the map, which concerns me a bit. This wave is... Okay, I see the mid. So, as you can see, I'm always updating my information. And the only reason why I'm pushing this wave is because I see the mid and I have my Radiance now. So, like, if Quap goes on me, maybe I can turn. Uh, but after that, I'm going back into the jungle. Bannies. Just telling them Bannies are coming up. Let the boys know. I can even go for a stack here on this camp. I can go for a double stack maybe too. I actually can consider fighting mid as well. Oh, my puck is dead, so maybe not. Maybe not. We can fight here. Here, duel, duel, duel. I'm here. Go, go, go. All right, never mind, never mind. All right, she could have went. If we just secure ulti that and Legion queue it, that's a free kill. It is what it is. It is what it is. I'm still farming well, getting some bounties. Not forgetting the Iron Talon. Oh. Quap is bottom, we'll check her items, see if she's strong. I'm close to a Yules. This is a bit dangerous for me. I'll push in this camp and then I'll get more information. Looks like the, the Quap... Oh yeah, they're invading on me for sure. So this is why map awareness is important. Now I can shift through to bottom here. They could have this warded. Probably not because they haven't been bottom in a while. So this probably isn't warded right now. But I'll at least stay in range. Maybe my team can counter gank here. I'll shift up my... I'll just stay in XP range. I'll shift over to my team if they bump into anyone. No, it looks like they're probably going to just go mid. I wish my team would come. Alright, no. The Quap's gone. I'm fine. Oh, I should... Oh my god. I pop my... Ah! Whatever. Just going to keep flash farming. Splitting up the map. My team's doing fine. Right, they're troll farming too. That's fine. Be expected. I could shove in the bottom tower, but that's not my major priority here. My major priority is just to get huge. 
Right, that's my job this game. Their troll's probably farmed as well. Yeah, he's Battle Fury. He's level 12. He's he's pretty farmed. Uh, but I, I'm okay with that, you know. Might make to look a play on him at some point. When I have this Manta. Because then I can deal with him pretty well. I do kind of want to consider fighting with my team now, you know. I'm pretty strong. This troll is strong too, so I do have to be careful. I'll quickly shove this wave in. Oh god, my team is committing hard. Do I want to show up to this? This looks kind of bad. I don't like this at all. Maybe if they overextend? Nah. So I just have to be careful. I don't want to chain feed, you know. I, I probably could have shown up to that fight a bit quicker, to be honest. It was definitely an option. Looks like I can actually go for a kill here, potentially. It's gonna be hard for them to run in my house here. The phase boots! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the phase boots. I dodged the latest stun. Easy phase boots, guys. Already coming into play. Wow. And now I have my Manta as well. I messed up there on the stun. Should have thrown it earlier. I didn't realize the Quap had the Yules. I didn't think she did yet. I probably should assume so. It's 12 minutes in, but nonetheless. Ended up picking up the kills. Gonna go for an AC next, I think. I'll probably go like AC into Abyssal. This Manta's a bit weird, honestly. I probably should have spent AC. Or like Shadow Blade. I'll take that scale eventually. Gonna pop my Mantas and just run them at Enigma. Oh, looks like we got the co-op. I'll help out with that. Man, I keep messing up. <laughs> Ugh! Maybe I can get the co-op with my Mantis, actually? <laughs> Run down co-op with Mantis. That guy's not gonna die. Need to buck. Need to buck. Alright, I uh, messed up with my stun again. Should have thrown it earlier. I'm just, I'm just kind of a little bit too slow every single time. Which I'll fix for the next fight. Just want to keep farming. Looks like we're actually getting four bounties here. That's massive. That is insane. And I'll just keep... I'll go back deep deep into the jungle here. Gonna go the health talent. I want a front line for my team for sure. I definitely think that's my role this game. I'm with a puck. Um, you know, Legion. She could go in first, but I don't think she's having like some god game. She's also going Deso, so she's not like tank Legion. Actually might show up to mid here. We can go. This is deep. Woo! I got off a stun, boys. Got to dodge Alina stun. Low kill. And we're going to keep farming. Now, the troll is pushing in top. Give me top. Yeah, it looks like he just ran through the top. Well, didn't get him this time. Get him next time. This bloodlust is great. I love this bloodlust. It is fantastic to have. Uh-oh. Who's over there? Oh, no. I thought my teammate was getting jumped. So at this point, once again, I'm just constantly watching the minimap. I see three heroes in their jungle here. Looks like they're moving in my general direction, so I'll be careful. Gonna send my Mantis to push out top, and then I'm gonna wrap back towards mid. Might hit this jungle camp. Confirm this small camp as well until the wave gets there. Just a little bit of extra efficiency. Why not? Oh, what's, what's happening bottom? Alright, well, I don't know what's happening bottom, but I can't really control it, so I won't try to. I will just focus on getting my AC, working towards that Abyssal timing. Looks like my team, they're kind of just overextending a bit. Like, I'm not close. I can't be close. I will try to farm back towards mid, because I think what I should be doing this game more is farming more towards mid, just so I can constantly be in the general area of them, you know? So I can be in a position to fight if they need me. Looks like I'm going to get an Invis here. I'll take that. This could be a fight. Their Enigma's dead. I can't tell. Legion's dead. Looks like my Ogre's dead. Oh, they could kill that guy. Gonna walk onto the high ground here. Big stun. Gonna kite out the troll ulti. And this troll's dead. Just got a man up on him at this point. Throw out the stun early. Nice. So, it's always good to TP in late, you know. Uh, basically what I was trying to do there is see when I could jump them. The reason why I went onto the high ground so, is so I could charge up my stun, which I thought was very practical there. And now I'm giga farm. Like, now I'm in a position really to carry. Uh, give me Roche. Let's Roche. Alright, even though I didn't have half my team, the Roche should be able to get it here. Which is huge. Not putting away my wand until the last second. Three damage. Three attack speed. I'll take that any day. At least Jakiro helped me, Roche. He's the man. One second. Kind of want to blink this game, actually, so I can get to their backline. I'm just considering buying a blink right now. It is going to make me lose some stats, but I think it is good. Now yeah, I'm TPing go. Just going to throw a mini stun so the puck can get in range. I'll just tank this. Oh, looks like he's going to get the duel. 
Now I'm going to instantly run back to mid. Someone can shove out bottom, but I want to collapse on the mid here. Looks like my team's on the same page. Gang, 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 says the Willow. Take out a bottle, try to stun up the Selena. Oh, rip Lena. Gonna keep going towards mid side now. I'm down to chase this guy, I'm ready. Just gotta be a bit careful about Black Hole, but I have Aegis, so I mean, I don't have to be that careful. What is Quap doing? Get out of here, Quap, and get out of my face, brother! You're dead! You're dead! And now I'm 9 and 2, and a large part of the reason why I'm 9 and 2 is because I never died really in the mid game. The only two deaths I have is the landing stage deaths, which, I mean, they matter a little, but they don't matter that much, right? Like, as long as my last hits were good in the lane, the laning stage deaths don't matter too much. Uh, let's just push in top. I'm gonna go put- I'm gonna cut top wave. So the reason why I'm gonna go cut top wave is so that I have an excuse to farm, number one. And, if I push in top wave, it will deal with the pressure. Oh my god, this camp is dead, okay. It will deal with the pressure, and we don't have to go back and defend, which is good. It is good. Don't have to hit the last two creeps, I'd rather just go over here. Cut through, farm small camp. Uh, I'm gonna quickly pick up bounties. Looks like uh, I should probably be closer to my team. I think this is too far away. I should probably take a different neutral item. I don't know why I still have this trash item that I got on me. Honestly, like, what do I take though? The M claws taken. Coil, bruv. <laughs> At least I stunned the troll. Actually, this might be an okay fight. This Lena is getting melted by the ulti. Holy. Hopefully I can get the stun off onto the Willow. Nah, all right, whatever. I'll just try to Manta dodge it again. Dang it. <laughs> well, at least I'll be able to keep my illusions on her to get vision. Bop, bitty, boop, boop. All right, got to use my Aegis. I mean, that wasn't like what I really wanted to happen. I didn't want to get like a uh, Black Hold and take some 4 5 fight, but it ended up working out. They walked through the Jakiro bells and because I'm super farmed, it took them forever to kill me, which uh, obviously is good. And now we should be able to siege up the high ground. There's no troll ulti, if I'm not mistaken. I think he popped it on the puck to try to kill him. And there's no black hole, so we, we are in right now. We just gotta bop down this tower. Gonna go for the blink next, just so I can stay in the back line. Uh, it's really hard for me to actually get a concoction off of that I'll blink this game. They just have so many stuns and yules and shadow realm. and uh, It's just it's just rough, so let's go back. Let's get this tier 2 tower. We could actually sit on the high ground bottom as well. I'm trying to see, is there any new items? I'm gonna farm up some jungle items. There we go, Enchanted Quiver, exactly what I did not need. Holy Legion is in. Oh, that's a bit deep. Moon Shard next, because my attack speed is actually not that good. I'm gonna try to bait them with one of these illusions, see if I can get them to overextend. Well, I got the lean and overextend. I don't know why Puck didn't just, like, coil him and burst him, but that's alright. It was almost a cool play. Oh, I should have clumsy netted him. Oh, I had the clumsy net and didn't use it. Gorsh, dang it. All right, well, now I have a blank, which they don't know I have. I'm going to sell my small items. My large amount of small items is slightly triggering. Messed up my stun. I'm just going to have to kite out. This this Legion duel is insanity. <laughs> Our buck just TP'd out, and we're in. I'm just going to kill up the creep wave and disengage out the back. Do I really want to go in? This seems... Absolutely terrible. I'm just gonna go top. This is not a fight. This is not the fight. Legion is... Legion's, you know, she's uh, she's making some plays. She's making some plays, and that's why in Dota, you just gotta realize when your team's making some plays. Sometimes you can't help out the boys when they're making plays. You just gotta let them do their thing. It doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. And there, there's no chance that would work out. So, I didn't do it. Didn't do it. Gonna go for a stack on this camp. A little greed. They actually could be running at me right here. I have no clue where they are. I did get the stack, but I don't know how comfortable I feel. Okay. There is two showing mid, but I feel like the other heroes still could kill me with the black hole. I think they still have black hole. I don't think Roche... There's no chance Roche is up, right? No. And consider defending mid. He's going to, like, three-shot the tower, though, so... Never mind. Unlikely. Now we just got to hope he can group up and fight them. We just got to not die before uh, the, the, the boys respawn. Actually, I'm going to try to burst one of the supports. This is really risky, though. That's the last person I wanted to go on, but... Oh, I set up for a duel... I don't know if this is a good duel, though. Apparently it is. Here, I want to try to go on this Enigma. He has Black Hole. I'm going to try to kill the... Oh, no, I'm dead if they don't stun him up. Oh, I'm dead. Overextended there. You guys keep killing me as an ulti. Go on, Troll. Troll is nothing. Is he actually about to kill my team? 
Oh my god, he got the he got the ogre. <laughs> Alright, once again, I got in. I, I prevented the black hole come from coming out. I do end up going down because of it though. I almost feel like I need a BKB, maybe? Like just so I don't get stunned at all, so I never get controlled by the ogre, um, by the troll. Like right now, I definitely wish I didn't buy this manta. To be honest, I don't. I don't think it was good. <laughs> That's the thing, guys. Like people are like, "Oh, speed! I need a perfect item build to win." Like, yes, could my item build maybe be adjusted this game to be better? Yeah, of course, right? You could always adjust things. You can always get better and learn from your mistakes, right? Next game I play Alk, I could do better. It's not like I've played a gajillion games of Alk recently. But right, if I become a hero spammer and, and learn the hero, I'll be able to adjust it game per game. Because I'd rather have a BKB right now. Not gonna lie, I would rather have a BKB right now. Legion is solo smoking. I would buy rags eventually, but all right, looks like that's gonna be a free kill for her. This is the classic Legion, just like solo kill people build. <laughs> it is what it is. She can do what she wants. She can do what she wants. I'll just push in uh, bottom wave real quick. Obviously, I'll kill the camps on the way there. Looks like Legion's gonna say no to my bottom wave. That's all right. Farm up my moon shard. This is no buyback, so it's a bit risky, but. I am lacking a lot of attack speed, so I don't feel too bad about this. Can we Roche? Oh my god, that's so much gold. Oh, so much gold. Yes. Legion, can you hit Roche? Oh my god, this ogre is huge. Holy, look at this ogre's items. <laughs> He's so tanky. I'm not going to hit this with Chemical Rage. The reason why I'm not going to Chemical Rage to hit this is because in case they come, I want to make sure I have it for the fight, right? It's a 25 second duration, but a 55 second cooldown. So you have a 30 second gap where you don't have it, uh, which is a long time. I don't really need this Aegis. Can... Maybe Legion, you want it? Here's Chilling Man. All right, that's fine. Maybe I'll just drop my Blink. I don't know, I'll take it. Yeah, he's definitely just chilling. That's for sure. Caroline is just chilling. There's no doubt that that is the case. Almost level 25, I can farm up towards that. Probably gonna take the movement speed. I don't think I need regen. I think if I'm dying this game, it's because I'm gonna be at it, caught out of position for a black hole or uh, troll spells. Yeah, this troll is scary. Like at this point, he counters me. I don't counter him anymore. I do think I need that BKB next though. Gotta get rid of the Manta, I, I believe. At this point, just gotta shove in the waves. I'm probably gonna shove in mid and look for a play bottom. I think that's my play. We do have really good wards top though, so maybe I just wanna play around those top wards. Gonna use Mantas for the next wave. Actually, could try to jump Lena on this mid wave here. It's risky, but I think she's about to show. This is kind of risky. This could be warded. Holy, get out, get out, get out. Oh my gosh, he's an abyssal. Just got to try to kite this guy. Wow, he instant rooted me. That is unfortunate. I do have Aegis. He's actually not killing me that fast, but he is killing me. It looks like their Enigma is not going to get a, a good black hole off this fight, which is really important, though. You know, that's pretty huge. Got the stun off. Oh, bash the quap. We should have a puck orb. Yep, nice. Uh, so I, I had a good recognition there of when the troll was going to ulti on me and allowed me to kite out the majority of his ulti. So if I got caught in his ulti... Oh, I'm taking that, that's for sure. If I got caught in his ulti, there's like a high chance I get bursted, you know? And then the fight doesn't develop as slowly, so me kiting out there was huge. On top of that, my supports are so far, which is awesome. It's really making this game a lot easier. Also, I got the movement speed telling out. As I said, I don't think I'm regening through troll spells. I think it's going to come down mostly to me being able to actually run away from troll spells. Now here, the troll is still alive. Uh, Black hole up in 15. He's going to get clipped by that ice path, I think. Yeah. Nice. Abyssal onto the... Onto the... Quap. The only reason why I can dive there is because, you know, the black hole's dead. So if I can find a kill before black hole, it's good. Because now, you see how grouped up my team is? That's what happens when you dive the base. So, like, if Enigma is alive, there's no way I go for that, right? I'm going to be so cautious about baiting my team in for some dive, but it wasn't the case, so I can make the play. At this point, I just really want to jump the Enigma. He's their only win condition here. The troll is going to try to set up for a black hole. Right now, my team is... Get rid of the net. Hopefully, we'll cast some spells. All right. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have overextended. For some reason, I thought we had spells to do that, but that was just a complete miscalculation on my part. That's a my bad for sure. Also, I had this Minotaur Horn, which I totally forgot about. And using neutral items is so difficult, man. It's so difficult to remember all the time. All right, a little Legion kill. Respect that. Troll's actually taking so much damage. He's going on this Jakiro, but this Jakiro is not squishy. Like, he's making a big mistake here. This guy is like, look at these items. You think you're killing him, man? No. <laughs> all right, this puck can't get permabash now. now. Troll doesn't have BKB, though. I actually am afraid he's about to kill all of them. You guys need to run. Or Yule's the ulti. Yule's, 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 Yule's. Nice. Nice path. Okay, good. Still dead. I mean, we're getting a troll ulti here. Maybe Jakiro won't die. He does have cheese. I think he's dead, actually. He does have a four step up in two. Untimely bash. 
Well, still might be able to kill him. Throwing down a ward here, maybe I can jump the willow. This was a mistake and a half. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was dumb of me. Yeah, I'm out! I do have the Minotaur Horn in case I get Yules or something, but that was dumb. That was dumb, dumb, dumb. That was not smart. That is what we call not smart. Can you bloodlust me? Look how fast I am now. 550 perma. <laughs> yeah, Alright, we just need to take a we just need to take a fight together. Oh, she's still coiled, so she's dead. She do be dead. Yeah, I think I need a BKB. I could go some item that lets me kite the troll. The question is, what is that item? You know, like what item lets me kite troll? Like E blade? Like do I self E blade when he goes on me? Is that really to play? Let's fight them top. Oh, everyone come. Well, oh, back up ogre. I do still have this ward I want to throw down. Pop my manta to give vision so I can try to get down a ward. Just in case we can fight here, I'll plop this down. It's really important to fight on wards in Dota. Take the outpost real quick. This legion is just always moving around. Why don't we just give this legion the smoke thing? Legion, you should take this. Oh, I'm getting gone on. Might be able to outrun him here with my ulti. Getting solo black hold. Can you, uh, for- Nah, uh, that's gonna work. I just need to try to run here. Actually, no, I can turn. I just have to try to make sure I don't kill his necro thing. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I even had my Minotaur Horn, dude. I keep forgetting to use this Minotaur Horn. It's ridiculous how bad I am with neutral items. Guys, everyone in the comment section down below. Speed, you are the worst player in the world. How did you ever get to 7.5k MMR? You're trash, Speed. Nah, but I mean, as you guys can see, there's a lot of things in Dota that matter. So if you master certain parts of it, then you're going to win. There, uh, best things I did, I popped the mana to get out of the troll route. Then I popped my ult so I could run away. And we were able to win the fight. Now the troll looks like he's done. We're going to end the game. That's going to be the end of today's video. Definitely a weird video, but hopefully you guys can see why the landing stage is so important. If I fought there and didn't get CS by pulling proper creep aggro and pulling, then, you know, we'll probably lose the game. That's the reality of Dota, don't worry. Before we end the video, I'll pop my Minotaur horn just so everyone feels good about themselves. That's the first time I use neutral items for this game. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one, and hopefully you enjoyed. Before you leave, just wanna say a quick message. If you're trying to get better at Dota or you just enjoyed that video, uh, I know this is pretty general, and you're gonna hear this quite a bit from me, but I recommend you sign up to GameLink.com. Why? Because I put a lot of effort into the content over there, and generally the effort I do there is different from the content you're gonna see here on YouTube is different. In fact, I usually go a lot more in depth on topics or into niche topics that help you get to the next level even faster because on YouTube, I, I often have to keep it more mainstream. That's even why I'm putting it at the end of this YouTube video. That's why this is at the end because a lot of people just watch five minutes, they skip through just for like the dopamine spike. But if you are interested in actually getting better at Dota, I recommend you go to the description down below, get your discount right now by clicking the link, sign up, Use the discount code that you're going to see there. And I hope to see you there right now. So click it. And uh, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.